Hey everybody, Buck and Billy Ray. Morning. Victor, victorious Victor. Cutting cedar trees down in Nanaimo. I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view of what's going on on the filing here. Here we are on top. I think my chain, I will have to see it. You see it pulling back just a little bit like that when you file, see it, see it doing that? That's not really what you want. Hey, get yourself one of these. If you're sitting on the bench and you're filing your power saws and working on your power saws on the bench, do yourself a favor and throw yourself together one of these. Just, just do it. It's so fast and simple. A little crank here. Now here's some chain tension. So here's the deal. So here's my chain, okay? Th there it is. That's, it, it's not extremely loose, but for filing, for filing, it's, it's moving back. I don't like it like that. But believe it or not, all it takes is just beep, a literally a quarter turn on there is going to help me. And then you throw the old ratchet strap back on there and boom, you're in and out like a fiddler's elbow and you're back on the file. Okay, so now the chain won't pop back. You see, it's sitting in there beautifully. So we're just going to give this a go. And I'm just, this is what I do every time I go to file. Okay, this is how I file my power saw. Is that camera shooting straight down on there? Vic, how's that looking? I think it's going straight down. Pretty good? I think so. Okay. So, I'm so, see how I'm right on that line? You guys can probably see that. I know the GoPro is kind of funny that way. But it don't take much to put an edge on her. And we were cutting in rocks yesterday and our butte is up on the rocky hill there. So this is more of just a, more of a quick little touch up filing on a skip tooth chain. This one here took a beating, but it's getting close to the line, so. That oh, tooth looks shiny almost, Victor. So, am I done, Vic? Nope. No, nope, not yet. We're getting there. So this is just a quick little polish. Because we're in that we're on the side of a road today. Now once you get close to this line, I, I'll take it right to the line, but once I hit the line. I go right past it. I take it out because it actually will cut terrible if you if you take it right to the line. There it is. You know what I'm saying? So we swap out. Just a quick little touch up filing. See that's been rocked, you can see it there, it's all bent and twisted. We just want to get the top of that tooth straight again. This file's seen better days, but it's still still pulling steel. Then what we'll do is we'll check the rakers real quick. And you'll notice these teeth, and I talked about it the other day, guys and gals, women and children is that your teeth don't have to be all the exact same size. I think I'm done, Vic. Yep. Yes, you are. I'm done. Okay, so that was quick and easy. Now, flat file, raker gauge. Here's my raker gauge. It says soft, soft right there, and hard right there. I'm in soft wood today. This is the raker gauge. This is how this is done. You guys saw this the other day. This thing's probably not that far off, but what it does is it keeps every chip the exact same size. Right, Victor? Yeah. And you're not too hungry. Yeah, and you're not. You do it by that's right. If you do it by hand, I was talking to a, a buddy of mine on there, and I, it was funny. We were just kind of shooting the gravy on, on this, this, this raker gauge, and I asked him if he used a, a, a raker gauge, and he said no. And I says, well, I, I asked him to go and 
and uh, and grab his raker gauge and put it on his rakers and and put it on you know eight or ten rakers or so and see where they were and he said he said Billy Ray he says they're not even uh, they're way below he said they're way below where they're supposed to be and I said well that's a hungry chain eh and he says yeah it is I like it to bite and that's fair enough. But when you've got a 36 inch or a 32 inch bar and you're trying to put an undercut in a, in a three and four foot tree, that's not going to work for you. The saw's not going to be able to handle it. You won't notice it in small wood. You just won't. You'll notice it when you get into bigger wood. So, it, it, this is not brain science. If these rakers are higher than your teeth, you're not cutting nothing. And if they're way lower, then guess what? you're getting pulled into the wood. So that's that. Okay, that was a quick little, quick little uh, uh, filing. It took five minutes, actually that's just turned to six minutes there. It's a skip to 32 inch chain, just a quick little file up, just to see what it looks like over top. So that's that. We're heading off to go cut some trees. Over and out, we'll get some footage today for you and have a great day. Be kind, over and out.